Welcome to WPA, whatparentsask.com. If you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here. Hi, I'm Dr. Devmata Datta. I'm a parenting consultant and the founder of the website whatparentsask.com. And this is video seven of the eight part video series on exercise in pregnancy that we're doing with yoga instructor Shayoni Mitra. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the common postures that you adopt in everyday life, which can cause a lot of problem for you if you do not do uh, if, if you do if you have the wrong postures. So uh, beginning with the standing position. During pregnancy, your center of gravity, like I said, shifts forward because of the weight of your baby in front. Because this weight shifts in front and your center of gravity is dragged forward, uh, women stand with their back arching and then they put their hands on their hip to support their back and stand like this. So Shani is showing you how that is, uh, how that happens. So if, if you can see, you know, she's standing with her whole back arch and then she's putting her hands on her hips in order to support her back. So although people do this, it's not the right position because it can cause a lot of backache. It's important to straighten up and straighten out the arch of your back and bring your center of gravity back to the center periodically through the day in order to avoid uh, the back ache and the back arch. So you can see her straightening up and you can see that, you know, a few inches have been added to her height by straightening up. Uh, if you find this difficult to do, do it in front of the mirror and you will see vis your, yourself visibly straightening up and gaining some height. You can do this every time you move to the um, washroom and you will be using the washroom frequently. So every time you move to the washroom, stand in front of the mirror and straighten yourself up before you go out of the washroom. Uh, uh, Shan is now going to show you how to pick something off the floor. So invariably, you know, you will have to think, pick things off the floor. So she's first showing you the wrong way of doing thing, do, uh, doing that, picking things off the floor. This is the right way to pick something off the floor where you bend your knees, go down and pick it off the floor. It protects your back from injury. Moving on to sitting in the chair, so most of us spend most of the day sitting in the chair and we sit wrongly the way Shani is showing you now. So Shani is showing you the typical way in which people sit when they're sitting in the chair with a large gap between the back of the chair and their own backs. But this causes a lot of back ache. So the right way to sit is like this with the back completely against the back of the chair and your legs spanning the entire length of the seat and your feet firmly on the ground. If uh, you must get a sturdy chair which allows you to sit like this and if your feet do not reach the floor because you're short like me, then place a stool below your feet so that your feet are always flat when you're sitting on the chair. Uh, most of us again get up from the chair very wrongly. So we bend forward and the entire weight of the baby is on our back and the baby is also compressed between our legs and our back as we get up. So this is the wrong way of getting up. So first showing you the wrong way of getting up from the chair where the entire weight is on your back, your baby is forward. And, and now showing you the right way, slide to the front of the seat of the chair, place your hands on the arms of the chair and push yourself up using the arms of the chair. By moving forward on the chair, the center of gravity comes between your legs and you rise without stretching your back. Uh, another thing which we're not going to show you in the video is climbing stairs. Be very careful when you're climbing stairs during pregnancy. Always wear flat soled shoes and climb the stairs by placing the whole foot on the stair. Do not climb the stairs jumping with the tip of your toes 
always place the whole foot, hold the railing, climb up on one stair and then move on to the next one. Do the same while coming down. So that's all in this video. I'll see you in video 8 which is the last video of this series in which we're going to talk about postnatal exercises. Thank you. See you then. Thank you for watching. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay with us.